Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa offered his sincere condolences to His Royal Highness Prince Megrim bin Abdulaziz Al Saud on the demise of his son. The Deputy Governor of Asir Province, His Royal Highness Prince Mansour bin Megrim bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Majesty prayed to Allah to rest his soul in eternal peace. He also offered his condolences to the princes. For his part, His Royal Highness Prince Megrim bin Abdulaziz Al Saud expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his sincere sentiments, wishing him abundant health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived today in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to offer his condolences on the demise of the Deputy Governor of Asir Province, His Royal Highness Prince Mansour bin Migran bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. At the forefront to receive His Majesty upon his arrival at Salman Air Base, where the Governor of Riyadh, His Royal Highness Prince Faisal bin Bandar bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and the Ambassador of Bahrain to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Ahmoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and senior officials. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa departed today to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to offer his condolences on the demise of the Deputy Governor of Asir Province, His Royal Highness Prince Mansour bin Migrim bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. At the forefront to bid His Majesty farewell was His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met today with the outgoing Defence Senior Advisor of the Middle East at the UK Ministry of Defence, Lieutenant General Tom Beckett at Rafah Palace. The Deputy King extended thanks to the Lieutenant General Beckett for his service in promoting security and defence cooperation, wishing him success in his future endeavours. The Deputy King also welcomed the newly appointed Defence Senior Advisor of the Middle East, Lieutenant General John Lorimer, and wished wished him success in his new role. His Royal Highness highlighted the long-standing ties between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom. In discussing the latest international and regional developments, the Deputy King recognized the important role that the United Kingdom plays in strengthening security cooperation efforts and highlighting ongoing strategic support that Bahrain continues to provide to its international and regional allies. His Royal Highness Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today Chief Minister of the Government of Jersey, Jet Senator Ian Gorst at Rifa'a Palace. During the meeting, the Deputy King stressed Bahrain's eagerness to develop its economic partnership and further develop opportunities for growth and collaboration across all sectors. His Royal Highness welcomed the visit of the Chief Minister, noting that official visits play an important role in facilitating detailed discussions on areas of shared interest and cooperation. The Deputy King King and the Chief Minister discussed various aspects of joint cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and Jersey, particularly in regard to the financial and investment sectors. For his part, the Chief Minister expressed his appreciation for the opportunity to meet the Deputy King, thanking His Royal Highness for his support in strengthening bilateral relations. The Governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain, Rashid Al Maraj, also attended the meeting. Her Royal Highness wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, received today the administrative and educational body of Al Iman Girls' School and a number of students, which won first place in the His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum's Arab Reading Challenge. Her Royal Highness congratulated the school on their achievement, noting the efforts of the school's administrative and educational body that encouraged students to read as a means to reach higher levels of knowledge. Her Royal Highness affirmed that this achievement reflects Bahrain's leading educational and cultural role. Also noting Bahraini women's or essential role in educational development and dedicating the first day for Bahraini women to celebrate women in education, wishing all educational sectors affiliates further success. 
For her part, for his part, the Minister of Education's Under Secretary for Resources and Services, Dr. Mohammed Mbarak Jum'a, commended Her Royal Highness's keenness on following up with the progress of Bahraini women in all sectors. He hailed the efforts of Her Royal Highness that are reflected in the increase of Bahraini women's participation in the national economy, affirming the ministry's keenness to work with the SCW to develop joint programs within the framework of implementing the national plan for empowering Bahraini women. The principal of Iman Girls School, Farat Abdel Hayt Lemat, hailed the support and encouragement of Her Royal Highness to women, stating that the success of the school is the result of the continuous efforts since the establishment of the school and as a result of the great efforts made by Bahrain in the development of education and Bahraini women. Her Royal Highness wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, received today at the headquarters of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, the family members of the late Aisha Yatim and the members of the Board of Trustees of Aisha Yatim Family Counseling Center. She praised the contributions and dedication of the late Aisha Yatim, who was one of the leading pioneers in women empowerment and volunteer work. She noted Yatim's role in establishing Bahrain Young Ladies Association in the 50s and her efforts along with leading women's associations that developed the framework of women empowerment. Her Royal Highness also underscored the translation of Yatim's 1992 book Memories of Bahrain to Arabic which sheds light on the development of the Bahraini society at a historic phase during which the comprehensive national development march started. Her Royal Highness noted the cooperation between the SCW and Aisha Yatim Family Counseling Center within the framework of uh, protecting families from domestic violence. She praised the services of the centers, such as providing counseling service and taking preventative measures to reduce cases of domestic violence. Princess Sabika called on to increase awareness programs on the rights, duties and legal culture for the youth. She asserted the SCW's preparation to strengthen cooperation with all societies and institutions concerned with family counseling. The family members of uh, the late Aisha Yatim and the members of the Board of Trustees of Aisha Yatim Family Counseling Center hailed the efforts of Princess Sabika and empower Empowering Women. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, President of Bahrain Athletic Association and Honorary President of the Bahraini Mixed Martial Arts Federation, BMMAF, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today at his office in Al Wadi Palace, the Ambassador of Indonesia to Bahrain, Noor Sahir Rahir Gdijo, and a number of businessmen. Sheikh Khalid praised the bilateral ties between the two friendly countries and people, citing the Ambassador's role in boosting cooperation in various fields. His Highness explored with the Ambassador and the business delegation means of bolstering the cooperation in the fields of sports, especially mixed martial arts, MMA, and ways to promote the sport in Indonesia, which would reflect positively on its spread throughout the Asian continent. He reviewed Bahrain's rich model in the MMA sport, latest of which will be hosting and organizing the World MMA Amateur Championship between the 12th and the 19th of November. For his part, the Indonesian ambassador reaffirmed his country's keenness on boosting its cooperation with all friendly countries, including Bahrain. He praised His Highness for his patronage of the youth and sports sector in Bahrain, culminating in numerous achievements in this field. The ambassador noted that the MMA sports began to actively spread in the kingdom thanks to the efforts of His Highness in boosting and supporting this culture. He wished Bahrain more progress and prosperity in all fields in the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa. 
The first Vice President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Honorary Chairman of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, Chairman of the Supreme Organizing Committee of the International Brave Week of Fighting, and the fourth edition of the World Amateur Martial Arts Competition, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa paid a visit to the Khalifa Sports City Hall. The competition is, is to be held from the 12th to the 19th of this month under the patronage of His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity, Works and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, Chairman of the Bahrain Olympics Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The World Championship is being held under the auspices of the IMMAF in partnership with the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation and in cooperation with the media office of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the KHK MMA organization. His Highness was accompanied by the President of the Amateurs Mixed Fighting, Gareth Brown, President of Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, Colonel Khalid Abdul Aziz Al Khayat, and heads and members of the organizing committee. His Highness Sheikh Khalid got updated on preparations for hosting the event and urged them to make every effort to ensure the success of the championship. Thanks to the support and great attention of the wise leadership and His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness expressed absolute confidence in the abilities of the Bahraini youth in ensuring the success of any sporting event. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa continued his visit to a number of clubs in the presence of the President of Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, Colonel Khalid Abdul Aziz Al Khayyat, Chief Executive Mohammed Shahid, and members of the Organizing Committee of Brave International Combat Week 2017. His Highness hailed the role of the clubs in developing the mixed martial arts sport and increasing its popularity. During a visit to the Spartan Club in Sar, His Highness Sheikh Khalid was briefed on the club's development plans and a detailed account of its owner, Faris Al Kohiji. With this regard, he lauded the club's plans to develop the game and promote it as a sport, combining thinking, art, strength, and planning. Al Kohiji expressed appreciation of Sheikh Khalid's visit, lauding his distinguished efforts in developing the youth and sports sector in Bahrain in general and mixed martial arts in particular.
His Highness Sheikh Khalid then visited JD Club in Sar and expressed appreciation for the role of the club in supporting the MMA sport and their efforts in supporting the youth. He also praised the efforts made to promote the status of the kingdom and ensure its distinction in various comp championships. He underlined the club's role in ensuring success of Brave International Combat Week 2017 and the World Amateur MMA Championship by promoting the game's popularity and supporting the Bahraini team. His Highness Sheikh Khalid then visited uh, Rida's Martial Arts Center and expressed appreciation of the equipment it has that serves Bahraini teams and develops their capabilities before participating in overseas championships. He also hailed the role of Captain Rida Munferidi and his uh, continuous support to the teams. He discussed with him ways of availing or the availing of Bahraini players and supplying the teams with outstanding services to boost sport development in Bahrain and achieve outstanding results in the regional and international championships. His Highness took part in the exercises of the club members with champion Ali Munferidi and captain Rida Munferidi. He also hailed the interest shown by Bahraini players in mixed martial arts, commending the role of Munferidi in preparing Bahraini teams. Rida Munferidi thanked His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his constant support and keenness to show the talents and potentials of Bahraini youth, stressing his outstanding role in promoting Bahrain status and making several accomplishments. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa announced during an event the first edition of Bahrain's Strongest Man 2018 that will be held next February. This initiative comes under the aim to support Bahraini youth in the sports sector. Present were members of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, members of the Board of Directors of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, heads of posts or sports uh, local newspapers, and a number of members of Bahrain's sports media family, foreign media, and a number of Bahrain champions. His Highness expressed his pleasure to announce the launch of the championship and his keen interest in such competitions which enhance the importance of sports in the Bahraini society and help create a sports generation that is passionate about competition, strength and challenge. He praised the creativity of the Bahraini youth in different fields, especially the fields of sport, who contribute to enhancing the status of the kingdom. His Highness uh, said that, that the championship will be a good opportunity for all participants, as it is or it will be distributed in four categories. He stressed that he will be the first participant in the first edition of the championship. He expected that it will be widely attended by young Bahrainis 
as well as regional and international countries. He pointed out that this championship will have a positive impact to support the Kingdom of Bahrain as an incubator for various sports. The Representatives Council held its weekly session, headed by its Speaker Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah, where it approved a draft law on ratifying the Gulf Cooperation Council Unified Agreement for Value Added Tax VAT, which accompanies Decree 59 of 2017 referred from the government. The Council also approved a draft law of amending a number of provisions of commercial companies' law issued in Decree 21 of 2001. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which he delivered in the 2017 government form to host workshops that will set the mechanisms and priorities of the government's work plan for the years 2019 to 2022, the Minister of Cabinet Affairs Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Mtawa announced the first workshop on the 26th of November under the chairmanship of the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The forum will cover the topics of economy, finance and infrastructure. Al Mutawa said that, that the workshop will be preceded by a coordination meeting or co coordination meetings that will formulate visions, common ideas and new policies that will strengthen the economy, improve the financial situation and develop the infrastructure which will contribute to the development and prosperity of the kingdom. He added that the workshop will review the latest achievements made to strengthen the economic and financial situation in the kingdom. The priorities and strategies will also be set in the workshop to achieve the goals of sustainable development based on the 2030 economic vision. The Cabinet Affairs Minister noted that the workshop will continue until March 2018. The second workshop will be held in January 2018 under the chairmanship of Deputy Prime Minister Jawad bin Salim al arayid and will cover national legislation and government performance. The third workshop under the chairmanship of Deputy Prime Minister Ali bin Khalifa al Khalifa will discuss services and environment and will be held in February 2018. To the, the concluding workshop, a titled Future Aspirations, which will be shared by Deputy Prime Minister Mohammed bin Mbarak al-Khalifa, will be the base of the government's upcoming work plan. <laughs> 